Welcome to Go Ask Debbie. In this session, we will learn how to create basic formulas using Microsoft Excel. Notice when you start Excel, your cursor is placed in cell A1. For this example, we're going to type a basic list of salespersons and their invoices. Notice when I typed the word salesperson, the column was not wide enough. Simply move your mouse between columns A and B to get the double-headed arrow. Then click and drag your mouse to make the column as wide as you would like. To move to the next cell to type the word invoice for the header, simply hit your tab key. To begin typing salesperson's names, hit the enter key. Notice your cursor goes from B1 down to A2 to start a new row of records. For this example, continue typing salesperson's names while hitting return in between each. This will take you to the next line. Once you have completed typing in the salesperson's names, simply click your mouse into cell B2 to begin typing in the invoice amounts. Just as we did with the salesperson's names, simply type in the invoice amounts and hit your return key to continue to the next line. Notice the invoice column simply has numbers. We want to format these to be dollar amounts. Do so by clicking on the column header and then choosing the format style you wish. We will choose the dollar sign. Now I would like to add a total line. Simply click your mouse into cell A6. Type the word total in this cell and hit the tab key. To create a sum formula, click on the Auto Sum button. It looks like the letter Sigma in the Greek alphabet. In this example, the Auto Sum understood what we were trying to calculate. Simply hit the Enter key to accept the formula. Now let's work on a simple percentage formula. Begin by typing in some simple data. Remember, hitting the tab key will move your cursor one cell to the right. When you hit the enter key, your cursor will move one cell down. Now that we have some data in our cells, Let's do the percentage formula. There are many ways to input the percentage formula. In this example, hit the equal sign first. A percentage is created simply by dividing two numbers. With the equal sign in place, click on the first cell and then click your divided by symbol. Next, click on the second cell and then hit your enter key. Once you hit your enter key, notice the percentage is a long decimal We'd like to format this into a percentage style. Simply click the percentage style button on the toolbar. To copy the formula, move your mouse to the lower right corner of the cell. Once your cursor turns into the plus sign, simply click and drag your mouse to highlight the cells in which you wish the formula to appear. If you need to show more specific data, you may use the Increase Decimal button. Simply highlight the cells and click the Increase Decimal button on the toolbar. Continue to click the Increase Decimal button to get to the detail that you need. 
Now we've shown you how to create basic formulas using Excel. Next, I suggest you take the more advanced courses to create some more formulas. Thanks for taking this session of Go Ask Debbie.